Another update coming from today's event. Think twice before you go to any crowded groups. Yeah, that includes the Washington State Fair scheduled to open on Friday. Q13 News reporter Jennifer Lee in our newsroom with that part of our story. Jen? Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, the Washington State Fair is a three week long event that draws in hundreds of thousands of people in a single day or even a duration of a season. The president of the Washington State Hospital Association says today that going to the fair this year is a bad idea. The State Fair in Puyallup is opening on Friday for Labor Day weekend, and this is video from previous years before COVID. Event organizers say the event is a huge economic driver in the state that provides employment and brings businesses to Pierce County. A spokesperson says they will follow state mandates for masking indoors and highly recommend wearing masks outside. Fair workers will mask at all times and rides will be sprayed down regularly and there are more than three dozen hand washing stations throughout the grounds. Still, Cassie Sauer of the State Hospital Association says families should not go to the fair this year. People should be incredibly cautious about going to any kind of mass gathering right now. Um, I think that none of us are going anywhere that qualifies as that and anywhere we go, we're wearing a mask always, always, always. We reached out to some of the large sporting venues, including T-Mobile Park, Lumen Field and the University of Washington. A spokesperson for T-Mobile Park says it's relying on the advice of public health authorities, encouraging fans to mask at all times. The senior VP of MultiCare Health System says any of these large events have the ability to spread COVID and we won't see the impact for some time. These things have a, a lag of a couple of weeks before they impact us. So my worry is that maybe maybe in the course of the next couple of weeks, we'll start to see a, a trend downward only to see that reverse and go back up when there's more and more activity. As a closing statement, the president of the hospital association says people can help mute this surge by wearing their masks and staying home in the newsroom. I'm Jennifer Lee. Back to you.